Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in for your News at 10 tonight. I'm Joe Martin. And I'm Kelsey Soto. In our top story tonight, it all started with a Facebook post indicating a group of dead dogs had been found in an area near Rupert. And that's when KNVT began their investigation, reaching out to the Idaho Humane Society and several other individuals to check up on that claim. In fact, one KNVT viewer called us to say she was the one to discover the site and wanted to show us what she had found. KMBT's Garrett Hoddle investigates. We want to warn you, though, some of these images are disturbing, so we ask that if you are eating or have small children around, please just listen. Oh, she's loving having Misty Sylvester, as well as her daughter and granddaughter, took their dog Duke to the field east of Jackson, just south of the Snake River, where she believed was public land so they could get some exercise and play. Bring him out here to play and play hide and seek and just goof off. The area seemed to be a dumping ground for dead animals. So you're playing hide and seek with the dog with my granddaughter, and uh, my daughter here discovered the dog bones. And at first I was like, oh, okay, you know, one or two is not a big deal. But then the more we started playing around out here, the more we found. A deputy from the Cajun County Sheriff's Department indicated in a police report some of the skeletal remains appeared to be coyotes, domesticated dogs, none of them being pit bulls, as well as what appeared to be a jaw from a horse. The more we started playing around out here, the more we found. We There's some that you can just find just decayed bones. There's one over here where it's just a dead dog that's outside of a bag. You can see his part of his rib cage. Misty also pointed out an area where she saw adult horses and cows decaying in the sun. We found large cows and horses and they appeared to have been shot. BLM officials who inspected the site said what they saw is disturbing but common and that illegal dumping continues to be a scourge on BLM land. We saw some domestic dogs, um, some cattle, so clearly this is a place people repeatedly do this and in the future we'll we'll keep a closer eye on it. They confirmed most of the animals appeared to have been in the dump the last year and that there was some evidence there were some dumped as recent as last week. And it's it's new. Personally, I mean it it's disturbing. Federal statutes specify fines up to $1,000 and up to 12 months in prison for dumping on public land. And Heather says they've had success in holding people accountable before and encourages more people like Misty to speak up when they find something. We have a website for more information. It's don'tdumpidaho.com. There is a phone number attached to that website. Uh, please call us. Let us know if you do see something. Jared Hoddle, KMBT News. Now all dead animals except house pets less than 100 pounds and any parts or pieces of such animal must be properly disposed of within 72 hours after knowledge of the death. There are several approved methods for disposal, including contacting a licensed rendering facility for pickup, taking it to an approved landfill, and burial. If burial is chosen, the site must meet certain requirements, including burying animals at least 3 feet and at least 300 feet from wells and 300 feet from any residence.